Hmm. My plan for steam growth in 2020. Uh, that's quite simple to answer. And well, I say simple because I can answer that in one sentence and it's going to be surpassing Google with steam. Well, that's very ambitious as well, but it is accomplishable and I'm confident about that. Uh, because there are testimonies to the possibilities of this. Um, though I'm ill, I'm no longer as productive as before, but uh, there's no doubt that I love STEAM. All my dreams are in STEAM. Um, since the day I joined STEAM, you know, uh, STEAM was many more things than a place for reward distribution. You know, I saw the beautiful facets to STEAM from the very outset, you know, even though I didn't have a dime when I arrived on STEAM. You know, I was on STEAM for two years, I, I mean, for more than three years, but for the first two years, I witnessed STEAM to $8, I didn't power down. You know, the only reason that there was a power down was more recently because of unforeseen occurrences. Anyway, I see STEAM as bigger things than money. STEAM itself constituted the CCTV into the truest state of the world. I mean, because it rendezvous with humans who are incentivized to be repeatable and, you know, they rendezvous and, you know, you can understudy the very elements of humans, you know, pay attention to their reaction to stimuli and everything. That's very powerful. Uh, it was also a place to keep my dreams alive, even in dream bits. You know, I come from locations where you go against mountains of odds to even dare to dream. So STEAM constituted that it means to keep my dream alive in dream bits. I call it dream bits. But as time went on, went on I started to understand STEAM, and what, it const what it can constitute in terms of a vehicle for dream building. And then I started to transition into actual realization of the dreams and then gave birth to many projects. I call my projects down to earth projects. Uh, all the paradigms behind my projects are down to earth, you know, relatable to human. And uh, I've taken cognizance of each human in the evolution of the model for each enterprise under the teardrops SMT ecosystem. I call it the teardrops SMT ecosystem because it has many innovations under its umbrella. One of it is Steam Geeks, the other is ulogs.org, the other is macrohard.pro, and there's also Marlians. It's going to make use of a proof of tiers model, which is a very variation or it can, it may be seen as an advancement to proof of brain where it rewards activities that mind the human. So the brain is one facet of human, but there are many other facets to humans. And the proof of tears model aims to reward, you know, things like forgiveness, on, ta on this talentedness, out of the boxness, mentality, you know, other things, uh, other things that are uh, well, innate to human, but you know, not propagated by curriculums of the world. Um, anyway, so underneath this teardrops ecosystem, I've had innovations. Each of them has a structure, a model, and a path. So it's very simple. How do you surpass Google with Steam? Uh, content is king. That is the sentiment popular, a sentiment popular by world standards. But I'm bringing, uh, the aim is to bring about beautiful disruption, removing barriers to entry from content creation and go with the sentiment, content is queen. You know, make content more dynamic, ever refreshing and aim to reshape the internet instead of recycle it. So then serve the search engines with this form of content. So one of the innovations under the Teardrops SMT ecosystem is ULOG. ULOG is a familiar word. It can trigger curiosity because there are already known words such as blog or vlog. 
but you are a plot. Um, um, so the first aim is you of where content is created fresh each time, constituting of excerpts of you without resourcing from the internet. You know, uh, in a bid to consciously mine your human while reshaping the internet. Uh, this way, content can become queen. But more importantly, we can remove barriers to entry from content curation. Not everyone is a blogger. Not everybody is a vlogger. You know, not everybody has a fancy camera or fancy makeup or considers themselves qualified as bloggers or bloggers, but everyone can be a ulogger. Uh, you remove barriers to entry also in terms of ideas for posting. You no longer need to have ideas and you can still ulog. But besides that, uh, a ulog can cover any range of topic or niche. Basically, the, the core aspect of a ulog is not resourcing from the internet. So mining your human, exerting your brain, your senses to create that content. It allows room for flaws. So it doesn't, it allows room for attempting out of the boxness. So a ulog is aiming to remove content uh, barriers to entry from content cre creation to make it available to every anyone. But as importantly, it removes barriers to entry from content curation. Because there's something called ulog subtags. It is a way to integrate every existing community, every existing enterprise or niche with ulogging or a ulogging style of content. So there's ulog-utopian, ulog-programming, ulog-memes, ulog-gifs. This will also emanate ulog communities, communities that have content that refreshes dynamically per day or dynamically incessantly. Now, um, a ulog subtag, for example, a ulog meme, means that a meme that a ulog meme created today was not in existence anywhere online yesterday it means that the image for the meme the sentiments written on the meme was created fresh by you without researching from the internet humans can become the referenced one once but this can also form ulog communities communities where memes are created dynamically ever refreshing every day this can hold for any niche or topic. You log dash programming. You suddenly remove barriers to entry from the world of programming, even from for curators. You know, instead of a post that is all programming, sometimes godlike, you know, even curators who are not versed in programming or the terminologies of programming can curate those posts because they feel incompetent, you know, but where a ULOG, where, where it becomes ULOG programming kind of post, then there's a human element. The programmer is allowed to record or document his code stories, code errors, you know, events that occurred within the day, his hassles, his breakthroughs, and then that removed barriers, that removed barriers to entry, even for curation. Uh, I need to summarize this so that the video is not overly lengthy. Now, now another essence for you logging is, first of all, of course, to remove barriers to entry from content creation, make it available, you know, for every anyone. Now, once you have removed barriers to entry from content curation and everyone enters the culture of creating content, even for the primary reason of evolving as humans, you know, making reward distribution sec distribution secondary, then the right mindset and culture when it comes to creating content begins to exist. Became begins to you login be, becomes a culture. Now, as people tap into their shine while they you log, they become owners. By means of ulogs.org, will empower uloggers with you know perks and UI perks and everything, you know even with the chairdrop token to enable them 
uh, grow their Yellow communities. The entire enterprise is modeled to bring about true celebrityhood for everyone once and for all. So we will innovate dynamically so that everyone is brought to further limelight. You know, we will, our, each of our enterprise is a true fan, an ultimate true fan of each U logger. Anyway, as people start to uh, um, tap into their shine and build U log communities, then it gets to a stage where they take on ownership and they want to build this noble dream, you know, bring it into reality. Then we have steamgigs.org. That's the next path or next stage. Stingix.org is where we will emanate broader talents and on this talents. I say that talent is generic. Broader talent is in the ranks of great. Stingix says everyone has something to offer. So it opens freelancing to everyone, experts and non-experts. That suddenly allows for the availability of free gigs or cheap gigs, you know, where a client knows that a particular giger is non-expert and afford, I mean, uh, avails of their gigs. In most cases, these gigs are at a cheaper rate or even free so that non-experts can afford to hone their expertise, you know, while offering a service. But besides that, it has an integration of sort of a LinkedIn, but for everyone. So you fill in resumes that minds you, you know, instead of requesting your professional uh, professional aspects of you alone, it's the database will also seek to gather, tap or mind you, <laughs> you as a person and, you know, tap into potential of you and then try to market you towards offering a gig in relation to your uh your hobbies and your interests and anyway now we'll create a search engine with an open api that is integratable in every existing website but this search engine has curated humans we're going to create curate the entire steam blockchain you know where you have your profile and there is information there about your profile our search engine will bring you out and there's going to be a marketing where people will implore you to offer a gig. But there is more. We're trying to say that money is the smaller things and returning value to humans in a world where humans are beginning to lose value or in a world where crypto kitties, Pokemon, Superman is beginning to garner more value than humans. Now, we're saying that money is the smaller things we're also, that means that we are also going to allow exchange of gig for gig. Suddenly, every noble dream can be built where you can, where you can exchange gig for gig, then where you don't have money, it's possible to offer a service in return for a service. Besides, that's the beauty of the Steam blockchain. It allows for a social experience, making Steam gigs, though a freelancing and dream, dream building social network, also a social social network platform where people can chat with each other, where people can curate gigs. Now imagine curating gigs. Gigs in themselves can earn and you can use the funds from there to foot your dream, you know, or pay for um, uh, for a service. Now there's also going to be micro tasks, custom requests, and we will play an active role because we have already built a base of brothers, brother talents and we will provide that to you so that we can play an active role in building your dreams, your noble dreams. What I mean, brother talents are people that will grind on your behalf, bear, bear your consequences, you know, want to build your noble dream, even for the sole reason of playing a role in historical history. That's Steam Geeks, removing barriers to entry from freelancing and dream building, opening it up to everyone. Then the third phase is macro hard, where you need brother programmers, where you need programmers, then we will provide you brother programmers. Now, a very giant piece of the puzzle that stays ever missing, especially in certain locations, is programming. It's essential that we remove all barriers to entry from programming, and it's possible. 
one as one way of accomplishing this is by emanating brother programmers again programmers who are true fans of you you know even for the sake of becoming part of historical history they will grind and hustle on your behalf to make your dream come true i've experienced this in my own journey i suffered a lot steam gigs is one of the oldest platforms on steam and it's still undergoing development everything has been a struggle this are this is ordeals of non programmer non coder pro project builders even when you have a budget you can lose the budget you know you don't know the complexity of tasks i had to learn all these things over time and then evolve the model for macro hard macro hard is like opposite of microsoft we're saying that we will gather nations to code with swag we want to add a swag effect into the programming world which is something i'll talk about i believe that i am going to write an entire programming language derived uh, uh, modeled around down-to-earth paradigms derived from content in the notebooks and i'm already evolving the model for that and the logic behind it is just simply micro programming with a hierarchy i learned all this from my own process because when i write issues on github i end up writing the entire algor algorithm and over the course of my journey because of disappointments i started to evolve methods to remove barriers to entry when it comes to programming even programmers have barriers to entry because they may know one framework and they don't know the other so when i say please help me code this a python programmer will say he doesn't know react and then there are suddenly barriers to entry i did a case study with some of my projects where even non-coders were able to contribute code there is a particular guy who you know was persistent i only knows laravel and I, you know, wrote, rewrote my issues with algorithms and broke it into microprogramming where he just needs to replicate code from a previous logic or a previous issue. And he was suddenly able to contribute code. And I started being able to contribute code myself from this. Now, removing all barriers to entry from the world of programming, emanating broader programmers, and offering consultancy. There's something missing in the world till today. It's an entire enterprise model and that's what MacroArt constitutes. A middle party, you know, made up of brother programmers that will give you consultancy, you know, analyzing your project logic, even writing your issues, you know, following a, a curriculum that I've, a model that I've created called hierarchical microprogramming and you know they'll be able to offer consultancy, especially for non-coders, telling them of the potential complexity of a task or breaking them down to simplify them. Then giving estimates in budgets so that non-programmers who are project owners can easily haggle with programmers and have better relationships and route building projects. That's the third phase. Then. That's the third step. So we want to build every noble dream and it's possible. So that's what surpassing Google is. It is about removing all barriers to entry from everything good, making everything good available to every anyone. But besides, it's about fixing the rarity in the great men industry. I would say there's a rarity in the great men industry. You fix this rarity, you surpass Google. That's where I bring in the broader concept so brother programmers brother talents you know brothers basically that's where greatness is you know then um it's also about abating half humanism and hand to mouthism and that's where eula comes about curriculums of the world are not inclined for us to mine the human you know we start to pursue fake kids instead and humans end up losing value but there's so much humans can do. Where we are close knit as family, we can move and displace Mount Everest by 20 kilometers at 20 kilometers an hour. There are testimonies to this, but I can't cover that in this video as I want to keep the video short, I've digressed a lot. Now, because I'm sick, in this video, you will not know how sick I am, but your boy Terry is sick. You know, I take care of my sick dad as well. My mom died. 
I, I don't know how to explain it. And surpassing Google has involved so many battles, very deep things. But I will not go into that. Due to these health reasons, I, you know, I, I've all the models are set for all the projects, and the projects are in motion already. You know, ulogs.org exists and it's in use. It's up to, you know, it's early alpha stage. Stinkix.org is in existence and usable. You know, Marlians, MacroHard is not, but the enterprise model is written and set. Then there is Marlians, which is a tribe that is in existence. So it's different now. There is very much possibility, but in these times is when my battles rose. You know, my product, I don't sleep. I haven't slept in years because I've lost the ability to sleep. You know, I do excruciating pains all body long, 24 7 a day. You know, besides all the mental exhaustion from taking care of my dad, who is a big man, a giant man with hefty dreams. Uh, I'm just saying that I'm sick. Due to these health reasons, I've been slow, but there's so much a human can do, so much I can do. There's testimonies to this. You know, I used to do contests in the past and have 1,000 post entries and vote each of these entries. My surpassing Google account alone has 17,000 comments and I've taken care of many accounts in my journey. I have a Discord with more than 5,000 users and I used to spend 10 hours in conversation on those Discords. Um, <laughs> there's so much that is doable, you know, so much. And I have experience when it comes to life and humans. I pay attention, I love humans and I pay attention to their very elements. My curation is directional with interest, keen interest in the elements of humans. You know, even till date, I may know what goes on on Steam, the very voice of the community. Again, I said CCTV into the trust state of the world than an average person, even with my one hour of productivity a day. You know, recently where the tribes came about, I got stake in like, 15 tribes and with different accounts and I'll, I'm voting on people manually, but I'm just very slow. I can no longer even take care of my household. And I've seen that everything boils down to restoring health. I'll get back to that. Now, because of my health state, I'm too lazy to quit. Even if I'm in rubble, my arm is, hand, is outstretched. Not only so that you can give me a hand, but also so that I can give you my hand in return, even while I'm, I'm in rubble. So Marlians came about. Marlians is a side project under the Teardrops SMT ecosystem that uses the same proof of tears model, the same paradigms, built around a gray list, a growing gray list of certified users, which are made up of you loggers. All my projects are built around humans so that the token succeeds whether bulls or bears because humans are involved. So I'm building everything around a base of certified users. Each of these users I care about, I contact and inculcate in them, Terry, your boy Terry, tell them that they can walk around with newfound shine because at the very least, as true celebrities, because at the very least they have one true, ultimate true fan, your boy Terry, and the entire Teardrops ecosystem innovating dynamically to bring them to further limelight. I really care. Now, upon doing Marlians, I've broken down. You know, I'm in the rubble. I'm close to a fatal shutter. This is true. This is true. But I still brought about Marlians. Marlians is a middle ground. Now, what Marlians does is allows me to get help you know, because you look at a fresh concept, teardrops is quite fresh and people, you know, may not understand what teardrops is about. Proof of tears has nothing to do with sadness. It has more to do with breakthrough. You know, teardrops as an emblem of human, a byproduct of mining the human, a breakthrough token. So in route mining your human towards the its awesomest version, there is bound to be many tears where they're happy sad or unfair. We want to reward the resulting breakthrough in human with the teardrop token, which is simply an emblem of human. It has grand potential. 
So these things need to be explained. And it's a very manual process because we're building around a closing family of certified users. And we have to inculcate this things by means of a curriculum. I'm never frontal in my approach. It always has to go through a curriculum where you're doing activities that is familiar to you and you and subconsciously obliviously to you, you are evolving your human. So that's how Marlians came about. And Marlians is a middle ground that people can relate with just courtesy of STEAM because they know how STEAM works and they don't need to really know about teardrops. Um, it's open to everyone, but over time, because behind the scenes we are building around a core of certified U luggage that is made up of a gray list, a gray list indicating that it's neither black or white. This list has room for errors, you know, opportunities for us to exercise our forgiveness, you know, so no and allows room for every anyone. The teardrops SMT doesn't have a, a white paper. It's a colorless paper, neither black or white, indicating that it's taking cognizance of every anyone. So Marlians is that a middle ground with the same tenets of the teardrops proof of tears model, but that everyone can simply use and that can be marketed without easily, where everyone joins in to blog and vlog, but over time, because of our core of you loggers, then we start to shift towards a you logging style of content to where we can create a new internet, one filled with humans instead of bots and AIs, one filled with fresh pieces of humans dynamically, and everyone can shine together. So that's what Marlians is about. It was a step also so that I can regain some fitness, but there is no space. The aim is so that uh, without explaining much, I can give out stake to every, as many users as possible that, you know, I, we've communicated and stuff like that so that they can go on to helping people shine and inculcating the you login style of content, you know, organically while I can start to find some rest. So that was the essence of Marlins, but it all boils down to teardrops. Teardrops is going to be used as the singular token for all the interfaces, all the projects emanating from the teardrops ecosystem will make use of the teardrops token, including Marlins. We'll look for a way for a switch, but teardrops, we want to inculcate a whale inside mentality where people are owners, regardless of the platform in real life, you know, not because you have power on somewhere, then you are not whale because you don't have power somewhere. We want to adjust that dynamic. So the teardrop token, where you are a whale on ulogs.org, it doesn't mean that you will be whale on Steam gigs. You'll have to get more of the teardrop token to be whale on Steam gigs. So that's how the token dynamic is. But I need to regain fitness. This is very obvious for me to come back strong and not lose out on the essence of this project in terms of world adjustment, you know, to desperation for near term survival. The reason I'm coming out now asking help is more because of my dad. Alone, I can leave anywhere. I've done it. I've been in the Philippines the first three years without a job on my own, leaving anyhow. Till today, I don't have anyone in the Philippines I can turn to. And I have a dad here who is innocent. And, you know, sustenance has grown drastically since the amount for rent and all that. And a job here is not vis visible. The highest paying job here is $400 all night. And my rent alone is $400. So basically, everything I do is on Steam. And um, now we come to the final part of this video. I was creating a background for my plans for 2020 STEAM growth. I'm just trying to build conviction, your own conviction in my love for STEAM and, and the ability for surpassing Google, all of us together with STEAM. It's very possible and the plot exists, the platforms exist. So I'm just building that basis. And to tell you that your boy Terry is a constant, whether bulls or bears, you know, I've loved STEAM, I've stuck on STEAM, I've innovated, you know,
able to better or enhance or you no know, add contribute to steam you know i'm a steam witness i've been i've been a steam witness for more than two years i know nothing i knew nothing about witnessing i transitioned you know my witness name is steam gigs i've also contributed a full rpc node in the past 256 gb ram to the steam ecosystem in the past you know until i was no longer able to because the requirements rose to 512 and then the expenses was out of hand or out of control now i'm not on steam for rewards or you know i'm more interested in humans like i said we can move and displace mount everest with you know, close knit family of brothers i love steam i love uh, um, I, I love the people on steam and going back to my plans for um for growth it's very simple and it will help me as well recently i wrote a proposal i also did, did a gofundme which is not just a gofundme but the, my blueprint to world adjustment something i wrote behind bars not prison bars because i've done time you know this i wrote behind bars like my blueprint to world adjustment so it's not only a fundraiser but basically i was asking to build to set up a hub in the philippines near my house called macro hard to gather the nations to code with swag recently i was thinking of ways to improve my efforts towards team growth everything i do involves team growth all my projects all involves team growth you know, every user that comes around will be introduced to Steam. You know, and I'm going to inculcate dream building so they will transition. There is evidence of this. You know, just as I found Steam org organically via the search engines and joined just to put my drafts on Steam, I transitioned into a dream builder and projects on Steam. So. So the aim is, uh, the plan recently was, I'm, I've lost fitness. I really need help when it comes to recovery so that I don't die. My mom, just a, the stress she got taking care of my dad, she got leukemia. And tomorrow is not promised. That's why I'm doing this video as a you legacy. You know, I have videos everywhere of Terry as you legacy. Now, my point is, there are solutions. I can get a healing while growing steam. And the feasible solution I've come up with is setting up a hub in the Philippines to gather nations to code with SWAT near my house. What will this hub do? Very simple. The hub is I'm going to go for six months rent straight up so that I don't have to bother about rent and expenses for the hub for a period of six months. Within the six months, I will gather people in this hub, inculcating them. I have an entire school, it's called Ajita Literacy. You know, talk to them about tenets of real life, you know, encourage them, inspire them, innovate to them. Then, especially programmers, because I'll target colleges near my house, IT students, and target programming enthusiasts or fourth year college students programming and have them gather in the hub. First of all, it will be fun to hang out and do videos because I'm going to invest in media, all for branding and steam growth down the road and but potential income revenue for the sustenance of the hub. So after they gather and we start to gain reports, I'll start to give out my projects as case study you know, so even with the development of my projects, most that have helped me are budding programmers, programmers who are just learning. And I say, go ahead, I'll accept the errors in code and we'll go from there. Same thing, give my projects out as case study so that they can hone their programming expertise while building my projects. Now, this will enable the dreams to be ongoing prior to SMT and allow me to allocate some of my many tasks to others and begin to find some rest. Besides, there's a bonus, I will be seeing faces. You know, before the hub, I don't see sunlight, but I'll be seeing faces. And 
now I'll be also be able to maintain proximity. I'm sorry about the noise. There's nowhere to stay in my house. That's bright. Okay. I'll also maintain proximity with my and be able to cater to my dad. Now, as we create a network of broader programmers, we will start to build their projects and build as many projects on Steam even for free. But at month two, month three, we will start to offer consultancy and finally build the macroheart.pro website where we will offer consultancy, perhaps for a fee, consultancy to build projects for non-coders using our methods for programming, consultancy to uh, you know, analyze tasks and reveal complexity of task and potential estimating budget and get a cut you know, for offering that consultancy. But now we're dealing with broader programmers. In the process of my gaining rest, I'll also be writing the concept for the macro hard programming language. But there is so much more, an entire school in that hub called Legit Literacy. All my projects, I have a very grand project that is untalented. It was a very successful tag on Steam. ULOG was successful uh, even though there is no promotion and no rewards. When ULOG started, after four months of hashtag ULOG, it emanated 20,000 posts, 179,000 comments. Today, it has been used by almost 6,000 Steamians. You know, these are conscious individuals. So there is grand potential. We'll start the TV reality show on Talented from that hub where everyone wins. No gimmick, no rehearsal. Everyone can participate regardless of levels of talent. And we'll take it into the real world. This will bring about growth for Steam. You know, promoting Steam to others organically with activities that they are familiar with. It's easy to tell someone to you log than to blog or to vlog. This I'm speaking of with the testimonies. It's easy to market you logging, you know, as a means to Steam growth. Then incul inculcate the ownership mentality with them physically via my presence then I'm going to invest in a good vlogging camera, a good laptop, and do live streams, interviews, empower these people to where they can fix generations, become build, dream builders, and we will go from there, and this will be Steam growth. Now, imagine I'm able to gather 200 people to Steam courtesy of that hub within six months, and each of them is a certified U-logger loving Steam. Like I said, I love Steam. And I'll show you example videos of me talking to other Steamians, trying to inculcate in them love for Steam. Perhaps it will move you to, you know, uh, be more convinced in the things I'm saying. Now, imagine being able to start with 200 base people that love Steam and are entrepreneurs, brothers, steam growth will happen and why so because also my projects will get to a state of maybe a stable alpha stage where it begins to market itself this is steam growth my projects are crafted very well so that it has potential for virality if you check the word u logs on google u l o g s you will see that u logs holds the first page of Google. We want to get to a stage where we can even catch the errors in search query when someone is about to type blog or vlog and makes an error and types in ulog. Google no longer has to recommend, did you mean ulog? Did you mean blog or did you mean vlog? We're taking ulog to into each dictionary. Even as a word alone, it has potential for virality. You know, to where every key part patch suggests the word you log as a correct word. To where every social network platform has a tab called my you logs. When it goes big, we'll contact Steam and, you know, say that, why don't you add my you logs? You logs has power. You know, 
it has power even for private accounts because you are you log in your human element shows opens you up to opportunities remove barriers to entry for opportunities coming your way even when you have a private account it has grand potential and we have created an smt that also has grand potential as a digital currency it's relatable you know it we can go on ellen and oprah to talk about teardrops we have a tv called teardrops tv that will feature humans in their in, in as themselves with their teardrops or breakthrough stories this is marketable it removes all barriers to entry from digital currency there's so much that i can do especially where i get fit and i'll be able to love my dad better the hub will become self-sustaining because it's possible at month three we'll also start to teach programming in the hub and create media tons of media that will impact the world and create steam growth in the future then we will teach other things you know uh, as long as people are gathering you know even if it's to teach english or anything this things will also be sparked up but there's also a fashion line called macro heart it's for programmers we want to add a swag effect to the programming world you know so there's going to be a fashion line where uh, and just the human feeling we want humans to shine so we'll add the fashion line to the hub and start to promote it to where we have people dressing well i mean dressing with shine you know we want people to be able to rock the versace you know to feel it instead of the versace rocking them you know anyway i'm sorry that i talked too much and i just opened up you know this you know i i, I just have to because at this stage I'm just in a dire situation where, you know, in a month or two, when all my steam exhausts, I don't know what to do. Like, you know, I have all the impulses in my head. The sharp reflex in my head is to hit it on the wall. And I do it. Only Jehovah is saving me, you know. It's just very hard and I need help. And another plan is to go to Steamfest. Surprisingly, for the first time, Steamfest is just in Thailand. In Thailand, and it's near the Philippines for the first time, it's visa free. I've applied to go to USA before for a Steam event and was rejected. I applied to go to Greece. I was born in Greece, but I was rejected to go to the last Steamfest in Portugal. And that then, it would have even been expensive, but I may have had the means then. You know, but uh, now I don't have the time. And it's visa free. Coincidentally, it's just timely to go there because I'm also on the list of speakers. I can go there and speak about my projects at a very timely moment. You know, build connections with people that may have known me on Steam but have not seen me in person. You know, solidify the connections, likely find a developer that will listen to me and see potential in my projects and join me, help me, or someone that will just support me, you know, with my projects, uh, the building of my projects. I don't seek money. You know, I just seek the presence of fellow human. Let's do things and move together, grow together. You know, I'm not in competition. That's why all my projects are open source. That's why I create you logices and videos talking about my projects, because tomorrow is not promised. If your boy Terry is not here, I will be here by your last grace. Anyone can take it up watch all the videos and know all the enterprise model you know everything is public so i'm you know i'm a fan of humans and i want growth for each human i want that light enter inside every tunnel no longer does any have to wait till the end of a tunnel to find light you know instead of tomorrow will be better there are dates now now steam fest is near and i don't have a dime but even if i get money for a ticket i will go there to Thailand, even if I don't have accommodation. I've been in the Philippines like that before, and Thailand is likely to be somewhere like the Philippines. I will go there, even if I have to hang around the Steamfest events and they don't let me speak, just to wait to meet fellow Steamians. 
let me have a, a respite in my life, first moments and my heart beats. Maybe that someone meets me and, you know, touches me and says, Terry, uh, you've inspired me or I, I wonder, you know, it's just a beautiful thing and something that it loves really just too big, you know, it's too giant. You know, um, what can I say? Then have the opportunity to speak. You know, if I had the means, I would have taken gifts there, you know, but I don't know. Have the opportunity to speak uh, there. That will just be glorious and have five days of rest, you know, at least five days of rest and, you know, just come back as strong. So I'm doing this to contest with uh, Pensy's um, contest, but just in general that I'm heard and that people come to my aid. I have a GoFundMe publication. I wrote a colorless paper about all my projects there. If you can read it and please donate any amount, it doesn't matter. Receiving is an art, but it can spark a very giant inspiration that can help with steam growth, my recovery, and world adjusting impact, surpassing Google with steam, basically. And you may save a life. I also write a, wrote a proposal, but uh, it's just a huge feat because I wrote the proposal to set up a hub, everything about macro hard, you know, but I ended up seeing that it will take like 12 million combined votes for the proposal to be approved. But it doesn't matter. You can vote on the proposal and share it. Who knows? Others will vote as well and it will meet the quota of 12 million uh, SP worth of votes. And um, then it will be approved. The only thing is that it's a two months duration. So the issue is that there is just a short span and it's a daily payment. So I think it's like six days gone already. And so then uh, support me, the GoFundMe, or I put my PayPal, then contact me. I can help you even with my small resources. You know, it may not have been much in terms of financial weight, but it's stake all the same and it's steam based. On Marlians.com, I can, you know, listen to your dreams and your conviction in it and support you with some stake to further that and so that you can shine some more. Um, so feel free to reach out to me. There may be ways I can help you. I, I have some knowledge, you know, I have experience, especially with community. I, I know how to do stuff. It's just that I'm not fit, but, you know, power or no power. I know some of these things, you know, so I can help you, you know, and uh, it's not about today, it's about tomorrow, you know. Your boy terror will never change. It's a constant weather, bulls or bears. I'm your ultimate true fan, you know, so tomorrow till tomorrow I'm reachable. You know, I look forward to helping you. Uh, lorry loads of money will not sway me. You know, my essence, my substance is deeply rooted. You know, it's within my cores and it's deeply rooted on shaking. I'm your boy, Terry. That's what it means. I'll bear your consequences. Forgive you a hundred times. There's evidence of this. You know, so contact me. Uh, you know, let's grow together. Tell me what you want and I can help you. You know, at the very least, I can brainstorm on your your behalf and you know, give you answers. You know, I wonder who will watch this, but if you watch this, you know, they call me Dan, you have helped me in the past. Uh, Pensive, uh, the host of, I see Exile as one of the judges. Um, who else, whoever watches this, you know, pay attention to your boy, Terry. Nedge, you know, Andraki, uh the the everyone who loves steam i've loved steam since day one when i got on steam i didn't read the white paper first person first thing i did is went to understudy net i saw read all his comments i knew that his mom helps with the name steam it and i found steam organically via the search engines and route surpassing google and i didn't join steam the first time the first post i saw of steam was 
you know, the author said he earned like $15,000. I didn't join Steam then, you know, but I joined Steam the second time. It was a story, I think, by at, and her username is Stella Bell, and I connected with the author, and then I joined. And then Steam constituted themes of beauty. You know, I saw the old moments, <laughs> everything about Steam I saw. Um, uh, but st this is not financial advice, but Steam is just beautiful. Like my first tag on Steam was Steam, it is beautiful. My first um, channel on Steam, I was mentoring youths then on Steam. It was 1,000 users or more than 1,000 users at the time, very long ago, you know, before this new channel, you know. Uh, so um, I've loved Steam and um, I've seen the beauty of Steam in the perception of illegitimate illiterate. You know, the things I see of Steam in terms of beauty is not contained in any books because I know where I come from. I know the worlds I've seen. It's not a very popular world by world standards. You know, I've undergone the complexest tenets of life. And that gives you a different perception to the world and steam. You know, steam was something, you know, and it is something till now. Proof of brain model is something. You know, it, it, and Steam has stuck to his dream amidst all odds. You know, they've stuck there. That's admirable. You know, there is that loyalty uh, aspect to Steam because of the proof of brain model that you will not find anywhere in Bitcoin, any other cryptocurrency. So I love Steam and I'm on Steam and I've been on Steam and it's about surpassing Google with Steam. And this is my message to Steamians and to Steam as a whole. You know, starting with the Philippines, we can set up a micro art office and transition from nation to nation. Nations, according to me, are merely locations. You know, transition and Philippines is a ground for this. You know, there are so many gifts in the Philippines. You know, we just need to grow in the substance of the human and there's so much and philippines is a crypto inclined nation tech inclined nation and growing you know there's so much that the philippines can do or can be sparked from the philippines and this macro hard we're talking about can garner media coverage from news outlets because i'm seen like a foreigner in the philippines even though i'm a filipino i have a filipino passport it can garner media co media coverage because the level at which we'll go with media when to sustain the hub, I'll start to go to mayors, uh, write proposal about building hubs in different communities to empower the communities. But you know, I need stats. I need evidence of something that's ongoing and stats. Now with stats, you put it in a proposal, go from mayor to mayor, uh, let them give us a space in their, um, maybe their barangay centers where we can hold seminars and then put hubs in different locations across the Philippines. It will garner media coverage. Then with that uh, growth, we invite the next team fest to the Philippines. Speak, there are so many cryptocurrency communities here, you know. Speak about Steam, gather 5,000 Steamians in the Philippines and just occupy a stadium. Enter the, the in, enter, uh, coverage, uh, news coverage, then enter one exchange like CoinPH, a remittance app in the Philippines, you know, with that number of stats, uh, number of population using Steam, put them on there. They have millions of users and it's very easy to use. Put Steam on there and growth of steam is easy it looks hard it's just that it needs it, it needs you know real life knowledge to market it needs you know we need to it's just like when i got on steam i didn't read the white paper you see i didn't read the white paper but i ended up understanding the white paper by activities on steam my main aim was to read about the owner of steam i wanted to see his conviction about his dream. I wanted to see the vision vision within the dream. 
and see if there's substance there, if it will be backed. And when I saw that, I stuck on Steam. But I understood the white paper because of my perception was, I came with a real life perception. You know, I know of common sense. I knew of in real world, I will not go to in the real world. I will not come and ask you how much is in your wallet or give it to me or throw it away. So I will not go to your wallet and steam and start transacting it, you know, then question you as an adult. You know, we're, those are some of the aspect, aspects that will help you see the beauty of steam. You know, running away from governance, I will not come and start governing you on steam. I would like to go the harder testimonial route, play out a curriculum that instill this standards just organically. You know, if you're accepting of it, then yes. You know, though, so this it's very easy really to 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 grow steam. You know, we just need to get to a stage where I'm able to, you know, assuming I had power, I would have been. Even when I had small power, I already had like 200 or more accounts. I've opened accounts for many people in the past, but even till now I have 200 or more accounts that are, um, that are free, I'm free for claim. I'm just keeping that for when I start my mission, you know, uh, uh, when I start macro art and the mission for growth for steam and it, it just takes that you know uh, you know as you mean I had power enough to claim accounts I'll keep claiming accounts and market that it's there's growth and long-term growth people that will love steam and back it it's very possible to, because steam is indeed lovable you know the people on steam it, it's just it's just a beautiful thing and it's rare, it doesn't exist. A home doesn't exist on the internet. You know, Facebook will block you, emails will not deliver because when you are pursuing a dream, you speak to a stranger, your emails will not deliver. Steam is the first place that you can contact someone and they will respond. They're incentivized to do so sometimes because they want to maintain reputation or want to, you know, so it's just a beautiful thing and steam growth is is easy, as difficult as one, two, three. I will not lie to you, I, you know, I don't doubt, you know, if you want to doubt, I mean, if I don't doubt, if I want to doubt that, you know, I'll be easy. And I wish I can talk to Ned, I wish I can, you know, uh, you know, to, the thing is, I like to take the testimonial harder, right? I don't, you know, I don't seek power. I want to do it, go through the stories and history so that, the love is with substance, you see. So I used to have a delegation in the past, but even when the delegation went, I wanted to build with my own money, you know, all the steam I had, I was writing issues and paying for them, you know. I want to do the histories and stories so that the future is solid, you know, when it comes to backing a dream. The dream needs to evolve into levels of spamlessness, you know, with the dream itself before it's building, you know, so, uh, for now, I just need help for setting up the office. That's all I will ask, you know, to where itself, it sustains itself and we go from there. And that's my plan for growing steam. I will just try my best to just stop at 60 minutes on the dot, it's remaining one minute. So I'm your boy, Terry, please vote the steam gigs witness. Steam is, steam gigs is S-T-E-E-M-G-I-G-S. And there's also a platform called Steam Geeks. I'm ending the stream now. Oh, sorry, it's one minute more. Support my proposal as well. Support my GoFundMe. Please help me set up this office. It can save a life and to really help me recover, take care of my dad and go Steam. Again, I love Steam. And, um, I, I'm not so, you know, I may be disoriented in this video, you know, I've not slept, I don't sleep, and, you know, but please listen to my undertone and you'll get the gist, you know, try to look into my eyes, pay attention more to the context than the words, and just to be assured of my conviction and the grand potential that this can bring, and uh, perhaps you will support my cause. I'm your boy Terry once again. My username is surpassing Google across the internet. 
I thought this video was going to be four or five minutes, but I'll, it's one hour, uh, more than one hour.